Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths where we're playing with missiles and torpedoes and things which are a combination of the two for two reasons. Firstly, I've been playing around with laser guided missiles because I haven't been doing that and um, people keep reminding me that I should play around with them because there are some interesting and beneficial things you can do with them that you can't do with other kinds of missiles, so there's that. And secondly, uh, I am on a trend right now of wanting precision anti-submarine warfare uh, because as it turns out uh, there are limits just to the default uh, just dump a whole bunch of sonar torpedoes in the water and Bob's your uncle. So that's kind of where this has come from sparing you the gritty details. So these are fun. Uh, these are actually double laser guided missiles so if we go in here this is what we're dealing with here. Of course, you don't have to set it up exactly like this, but the main dealio is, is that it is a missile because it has a variable thruster, it has a secondary torpedo propeller, and also it has a laser designator and a laser beam rider. The reason it has both of these things is because I tend to find that laser designators are kind of inaccurate if you use them on their own, uh, because the From the Depths AI is actually kind of terrible at aiming these things. It's one of the reasons why I haven't used uh, laser-guided missiles a lot um, for ages, actually. And if you use the laser beam rider on their own, uh, these are also kind of inaccurate because um, they... Well, yeah, as it says in the uh, tooltip, the beam needs to be within 30 degrees of the missile, like behind the missile, or the missile cannot see the beam at all. So these things can lose their target very easily. And the laser designator, whenever the designator flips out and is not actually aiming at any particular block, the missiles just stop tracking and they just keep going forwards. Putting the two of them together allows them to compensate for that. So if the beam wanders off target, uh, the beam rider will at the very least keep the missile following the beam. And if the laser and if the missile like overshoots and it loses track of uh, where the beam is with the beam rider, the laser designator can then actually lock onto a block and then the thing can do a U-turn and come back around. So these put together actually work pretty well. And also, like, these are basically... They're mostly torpedoes that can hit air targets. It's best to think of them like that. So on this one side, we have explosive warheads. On the other side, we have the EMP. You can mix and match them, of course, on the same missile, but for this setup, we've gone... Uh, big explosion, big EMP jolt, and it works jolly well. So, these are just fun because they're general purpose. They can hit stuff above the water, below the water, and you can tweak. Um, because these things are controlled and aimed by the AI, they're not fire and forget. You can do fun things like that. So, what do I really want to do? I want to actually just change that. I want range and value per block and also since these things kind of suck against ah damn it it really would be nice if we could have more values in here but yeah let's do oh wait no you can oh hello 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 you can never mind i will shut up now okay so let's test that right now i let's test it first well, let's spawn in both a submarine and a not submarine. So, my favorite target here. Let's spawn in a typhoon and a saber, and let's see how this goes. I can't remember if the saber uh, has a. Uh... Ooh, hello, the saber has those things. What are those? Dromeos? Those are Dromeos. So, you see, our uh, laser designated stuff is going straight for the sub. Nope, never mind. It's changed its mind. So, that is an advantage, is that. Um, the thing can do that. And, yep. That is actually a problem, because if it switches target too much, that can be a, a bit of an issue. Hang on a minute. Let's do this quickly. We're learning as we go. So, we're gonna go here, and multiply the current target as that. Yes, please. And everything is coming back around uh, to murder this Typhoon. The reason I picked the Typhoon is because it doesn't have that good uh, uh, torpedo defense and as you can see we're going straight forward no problem uh, an APN guidance system is actually plenty enough uh, to get torpedoes to hit underwater targets like I 
don't really use a ballast tank uh, with any form of torpedo anymore, simply because, well, a lot of the time you don't need them. Unless they're very slow, in which case the APN isn't enough. But why would you want a very slow torpedo? That's very silly. And it's locking onto the target like that. You can see how the laser kind of jitters and how sometimes, right there, when the laser turns red, it's not aiming at any particular block. And that's where the beam riders are quite helpful because they are, at the very least, keeping the missiles pointing in the right direction, which means these can be pretty accurate against anything that isn't uh, wiggling around too much, which is very, very nice. And of course, you don't have to have them uh, only as medium missiles. You can have them be uh, bigger or smaller. Uh, what's happening there? There's the Typhoon. Like, we're going to have to watch the Typhoon despawn because that's fun. It's going to get AI deaded any minute now. See, whoops, miss. But then, it doubles back. See that? Very handy. That is one of the perks about using laser-guided anything. Is that uh, if they miss, they can come back around for another go. Uh, Radar-guided missiles are kind of the same, but radar-guided missiles can't be aimed uh, as accurately as laser-guided missiles. Also, uh, you can have these things train onto hot blocks, so I'm very much a fan of that these days as well, because it means you go straight for engines and stuff like that. You also go straight for heat decoys, but, you know, uh, once the heat decoy is destroyed, it's back on schedule for ruining the lives of engines here, there, and everywhere. So yeah, these things are also just great fun to watch. Great fun to watch. See you there. This thing is actually going to despawn very, very soon. We. <laughs> fun. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. 80% health and sinking. And that is going to despawn. We're probably going to see these guys do a 180 to go uh, for the... What's it called? Go straight for the saber. Yep, and there they go. Most of them probably aren't going to reach. Or are they? Aha! The Sabre has a Lambs. Probably not enough of a Lambs, but nope, it does not have enough of a Lambs. Whoops. So you see, it works just fine against flying targets, surface targets, underwater targets. Oh, wow. Hello, that is a Sea Whiz uh, turret, but with a Lambs on it. Interesting. You don't see those very often. Mostly because... I don't know, there doesn't seem to be much point in them? Maybe I'm crazy. This wasn't the best uh, target to choose, I do have to say. Simply because it's got that lambs on it and it's going to make this take forever. So, let us, delicious lettuce, um, just show off the larger version. And you could probably do huge versions of these as well. That might be a bit much because this is a reasonably long missile type because, you know, they're... This particular template I'm using is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's like 10 uh, missile blocks long. That is, um, it's a bit long for a huge missile, but hey, maybe when I make uh, Gary the Monitor Mark II, or Mark III, I guess, uh, that can be something we can play with. This is also great against uh, stuff like, I believe, what is it? I should really... Uh, what should I do? Oh, wow. Missile interceptors. Whoopsie daisy, it looks like someone is dead. Woo, baby. Someone else is dead. There is no kill quite like overkill. We. Oh, hello. I wonder if these guys are... Nope, they've run out of fuel. These guys, however, Whee! splat. <laughs> okay, try and lambs these, will ya? Honestly, I'm just having fun at the moment. Yep. And AI yeah, dead. Thank you very please. Okay, so that basically is it for this uh, kind of generalizer missile. I guess a double laser generalizer, you could call it. Let's blow something else up. This is so fun. It's so fun to watch these things work. Uh, let's... What shall we shoot at? Let's shoot at a loggerhead, because this is a flying submarine, so... Whether this thing is above water, 
or in it, uh, these, uh, this kind of missile uh, should be able to catch it just fine. They're also quite twitchy missiles. You don't have enough interceptors for this. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh boy, fun. So yeah, like, uh, if you also have fun ideas uh, for missiles that are just general purpose, or even not so, um, do share. I would love to hear about them. And that does it for, I guess, this uh, little silly fun video showing off a missile concept. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Dead. My goodness, this, we just murdered this thing straight up. Farewell.